Tall Wolfer. Tall Ground Wolfer is carried out almost exclusively by the Fire Cast, whilst the Air Cast is responsible for aerial and space combat and providing transport between star systems for the Fire Cast. Fire Cast military forces are known as Carders and are similar in size and battlefield role to an Astra Militarum company. In space, Tau fleets are manned by the air cast, which maintains both the military starships of the Tau Protection Fleet, called the Corvatra in the Tau Lexicon, as well as the state-owned armed merchant vessels of the Tau Merchant Fleet. The protection fleet can include both Tau starships as well as those of the Xenos Auxiliaries who are part of the Empire and accept the greater good, such as crude war spheres and the powerful vessels the Leagues of Votan Prospect identified as the Demiurg. Hunter carders are primarily made up of Tau from the same planetary set. Auxiliary forces are drawn from the alien member species within the Empire, and hunter carders can include crude warriors, vespid stingwings, and human goo veza, amongst other intelligent Xenos species. The Tau prefer long ranged combat over close melee disdaining the latter and viewing it as a primitive and barbaric form of warfare. A Tau Fire Warrior's primary weapon is the Pulse Rifle, which can be switched for a Pulse Carbine. A Pulse Rifle fires energetic particles which quickly break down and are projected as a pulse of superheated plasma. Pulse Carbines, also carried by Fire Warrior teams, sacrifice range for portability, but incorporate an underslug Photon Grenade Launcher. Photon Grenades are powerful defensive weapons that not only release a powerful burst of light, but also a sonic shock wave that can temporarily stun the target. As the Tau Empire integrates more and more alien races, they use whatever unique abilities they possess in supplementing their tactics. Often, small alien squads will be used as bait to draw enemy fire, though it is important to note that bait squads are not considered expendable but rather dependent on the effectiveness of their cover fire. If Tau forces ever do become engaged in close melee combat, they can call on their cannibalistic allies, the Kroot. The Kroot are expert jungle fighters who appear deceptively slender. Their Unit Organization a Kada or Kaui in the Tau Lexicon is the basic organizational unit of the Fire Cast, the ground military forces of the Empire. Kadas are, in turn, made up of a variable number of units similar in size to squads known among the Tau as a team. There are many types of Kadas, but by far the most common one is the versatile Hunter Kada. It is a combined arms group, fielding Fire Warrior Infantry, Auxiliary Infantry, Battle Suits, and Anti-Gravitic Gunships together under the leadership of a Tau Commander. Most Kadas are standing formations, although their exact structure includes some variation depending upon the strategic or tactical needs of their commander. There are many alternative kinds of carders within the fire cars, with several more specialist formations optimized for specific battlefield roles. 
The Retaliation Carter, for example, groups teams of battle suits, particularly stealth suits, into a single force ideal for rapid insertion drops and counter assault. Meanwhile, the Infiltration Carter is utilized for reconnaissance in force. Its Pathfinders, Sniper Drone Teams and Piranhas engaging the foe with guerrilla tactics while calling down strikes on key strategic targets. A Contingent or TOV is a grouping of Carders similar in size to an Astra Militarum Regiment normally three to six in number, and assemble to prosecute a specific battle or achieve a particular objective. Such large forces will always include at least one ethereal, who is there to observe proceedings and offer guidance to the commander. The ethereal's role is vital. For contingents represent the marshaled military might of the Tau Empire and must be wielded with care. Only the vast star system conquering units known as coalitions or Shan Al are larger and more powerful. Firecast armed forces are deployed to protect Tau holdings or to destroy those that oppose the Tao Empire's enlightenment. In order to achieve success with their rapid strikes and ambushing firefights, Tao forces must be flexible and ready to work together. It is a firecast mantra that every unit must operate in conjunction to fulfill the dictates of the greater good. This was just a small overview, now I will go into more depths from smallest to largest. First up we have the teams, or the La Rua in the Tao lexicon. The smallest standard unit in the military's fire cast is known as a team, equivalent to an Astra Militarum squad. The most commonly deployed is the Fire Warrior team the backbone of most Tau armies and the basic infantry unit. Each team of fire warriors consists of between 6 and 12 soldiers. All members of a team come from the same sept and most likely have gone through fire cast academy together. All teams have a team leader, although they can only earn the higher rank of Shas Ui after extensive battlefield experience. Teams that serve together in the field often bond themselves through rituals, of which the most famous is the Ta Lisera, which roughly translates to a type of communion or binding oath. Those who have sworn such an oath may address each other by their individual names and a vow to support one another unto death. It is not uncommon for teams to progress together as well. Veteran fire warrior teams may even earn promotion to Shasui together. Each might serve for a time as a squad leader for a different fire warrior team before the survivors are reunited as a crisis team. Then we have the Kada or Kaui. A Kata is a collection of teams joined under a single Tau commander and is equivalent in size to an Astra Militarum company. There are many types of Kadas, but by far the most common one is the Versatile Hunter Kata, as I mentioned before. It is a combined arms group fielding infantry, battle suits, and gunships together. Hunter Kadas are a standing formation. Although their exact structure is variable, subject to change due to the tactical situation on the ground, the quarry they are hunting, the available reinforcements, or a commander's favored mode of attack. The core of most hunter cadres is its fire warriors and other auxiliary infantry such as crude carnivores or vespid stingwings, but these can be supported in a number of ways. 
Pathfinders scout ahead and mark prospective targets. Elite battle suits provide hard-hitting strike teams. Sniper drone teams pick off the foe's greatest threats, and hammerhead gunships use their deadly armaments to blast enemy armor or break up massed infantry attacks. The doctrine of Tau battle tactics is all about the efficient coordination of different groups. From the infantry to the battle suits, the gunships to the aircraft, all must work as one to defeat the foe. The Hunter Carter is fully integrated at the tactical level, so that all of its teams are considered to be part of the same fighting unit. There are a number of different Carters in addition to the Hunter variety, although they tend to be smaller in size and more optimized for individual roles. There are rapid insertion forces made exclusively of fast striking battlesuit teams, infiltration Carters of Pathfinders and Stealth teams, and auxiliary reserve Carters, battle groups made entirely of allied alien warriors like the Kroot, Vespids, and Guveza. A particularly formidable group is the Armored Interdiction Carda, a force composed entirely of Hammerhead and Sky Ray gunships. Its heavy firepower is used to counter enemy tanks and is capable of toppling even the mightiest targets. During the High Fleet Gorgon invasion, armored interdiction carders blunted the Tyranid Bio Titan spearhead, pitting shoals or squadrons of hammerheads against towering hierophants flanked by the tank sized hieroduels. And now, the contingent or Teove. A contingent is a grouping of several carders, normally three to six in number, equivalent to an Astra Militarum regiment. The most senior Tau commander is designated as Contingent Commander, and their own carder is nominated as a headquarters guard. An ethereal might be present in such a force at carder level, but there is always at least one present when a contingent is formed. Ethereals often stay at the headquarters position, as it is a hub for incoming reports, and their counsel can best be received there. Should one of them wish a closer observation of a situation, they will attach to or even assume leadership over a given Carda. Unlike a Carda, a contingent is not a permanent formation, though Efforts are made to preserve contingents that have served efficiently together through prolonged campaigns. Once objectives are achieved, such as a breakthrough of enemy lines or the elimination of a foe, the contingent is dissolved or reformed into another arrangement. The Commune or Caval Sometimes also translated into Low Gothic as a battle, a commune is a temporary grouping of contingents and the highest level of fire cast military organization thus far committed in the field by the Tau Empire. Communes are often formed by contingents from different sects, and although rarely seen before the Damocles Gulf Crusade, they are now more regularly formed, most famously during the solar decade-long campaign against the Orcs known as the Great War of Confederation. Only the combined forces of many sets could have hoped to stop the gargantuan Org Warg that threatened the Empire. And finally, the Commands, or Urasho and coalitions, Shan Al. A command is the term used for all the forces of a single caste in a given location, usually on a planet or in a star system. For instance, all the fire caste members on the world of Nimbosa 
were part of a fire cast command, Nimbosa, while all air cast formations were part of the air cast command, Nimbosa. The largest unit of Tau military organization is created when the four commands that together comprise the members of all four castes present in a given location are drawn together into a strategic organization referred to as a coalition, effectively the size of an Astramilitarum army or army group. A coalition is presided over by a specifically assigned ethereal council. Tau Combat Doctrine Tau warfare is carried out almost exclusively by the fire cast, with support from the air cast in the form of transport and air support. The Tau draw their tactics from their ancient methods of hunting across the plains of Tau. Each force is usually drawn from the same sept and is called a hunter carder. The Tau prefer to carefully plan their assaults, and tend to fight only after coordinating their troops and weapons for the mission at hand. They prefer to fight offensively, concerned more with the quick destruction of the enemy force than the taking and holding of ground. If one of their bases is attacked, they will usually evacuate, dismantle all important technology, and return at a later time to retake it. The two primary Tau tactics are the Mont Ka, Killing Blow, and Kaoyon, Patient Hunter. The Mont Ka is a carefully planned attack designed to wipe out critical enemy defenses or units in a single well placed strike. Once the strongest points of enemy resistance are crushed, the remainder of the force can generally be finished off easily. The Kaoyon is essentially an ambush, where the enemy is drawn by use of a lure into a carefully prepared killing zone. The Montka is generally known to utilize more mobile support and vehicles, whilst Kaoyon relies more on advanced infantry tactics and quick attacks. As Tau forces generally prefer ranged combat, they always use non-Tau alien auxiliaries like the Kroot for melee support. One commonly used tactic is when a squad of fire warriors stands in front of the task force, making use of the superior range of their weapons to soften up enemy formations. A squad of Kroot carnivores waits behind the fire warriors. When enemy units charge to engage the Tau in melee, the carnivores leap in front of the warriors to give them time to retreat to a safe firing position.